I play Adrian. She is a line cook. She's um, kind of quirky and offbeat a little bit. Um, and that's, that's where she starts in the movie, just like a nervousness to her. I've been a fan of his work for, for so long, and I've been auditioning. I'm 26 now, and I think my first audition for him was when I was like 13 or 14. So I've had him in my mind and wanted to be in one of his films for so long. Um, so it just feels incredible, and yeah, he's like, he's the best, and just so brilliant and generous and also very funny. Um, and yeah, like an amazing person to work with. I was in Hawaii. I had just woken up and <laughs> I got a call that he wanted to meet with me. And then I thought it was another audition. And then I was sitting in the back of a van in Hawaii and he offered me the part. So it was incredible. Yeah, I was not expecting it. Being in this film was amazing. It was incredibly intense when we were shooting the very extreme scenes inside the cabin. And then outside of the cabin, it was an incredible joy ride with the seven of us in the cast. It's only seven. Uh, we all get along so well and we had such a good time together. Incredible. I'm such a fan of Knight's. He's got such a gentle demeanor, and he's a very kind guy, but he knows exactly what he wants. And performing for him was like uh, precision acting. There's lots of different themes of love and fear and family in this movie uh, that forced a lot of introspection. And uh, the thing I learned the most was that I really love spending time with eight-year-olds because our daughter, uh, played by Kristen, uh, she plays the role of Wen, we had so much fun acting with her and it really reminded us all why we love performing and why we love playing pretend. At the center of this movie, there is uh, a married gay couple with an adopted Chinese daughter, and the heart of the movie is the love with this family. And so I love that, hopefully, so many people across the world will see this movie, and in the sort of container of a horror movie, we're also telling a story of love. It's not technically Zumba. You'll have to ask her. I don't want to interrupt her. Maybe really quickly. Yeah, really quickly. Bhavna. It's not Zumba. It's called... Dance Fitness. Dance Fitness. It used so to be Zumba, though. It used to be Zumba. Yeah. It's like Zumba adjacent. I love Zumba, too, but yeah. that's why I started. But Dance Fitness, he's so good. No, she's a savage. He's so good. It is crazy. As you can see, gorgeous, beautiful Amazing woman. Dress, by the way. So kind, no so average, generous. And then when she guests, and then when she gets on that stage, we were like, because I'm usually quiet. Usually quiet and very, yes, keeps to herself. But the Savage came out on that stage at the dance fitness class and it was an inspiration. Yes, it was amazing. always two steps behind. He was so good. He was great. I mean, he sort of did step to the back and he was like, I'm going to I'm gonna step back here with Knight. Yeah, they did their own thing. They did their own thing. You were the front line. Me... Ben, Abby, and Nikki were in the thick of it, really trying to keep up, and we were sore for days. <laughs> there was like a, there was like a, yeah, it was amazing. There was a little body roll. A little body roll, yeah. yeah. There was like a hit. A lot, like a hit. Maybe a lot of body roll. I feel like it was to a Britney Spears song, if I can remember correctly. There, yeah. yeah. Toxic. It was the toxic. <laughs> toxic. <laughs> Very memorable. I have, yeah. I worked yeah. on his last nice movie, Old, yeah. and that was also uh, one location, all took place on one day, and with an ensemble. But this is a completely different road coaster, a completely different ride. I love working with him. He's the loveliest man. He makes the scariest movies, but he's the biggest teddy bear. You know, he likes to push us to our limits, and I think that's really exciting when a director wants to push you out of your comfort zone and you discover new things about your work. And so, yeah, it was great. I'd definitely do it again. I play Sabrina. She's a nurse. She is a lovely woman. She's a caring woman. Knight described her as a healer. Um, but on the day that we meet her, she's she's been having visions, supernatural visions, and she's been called to do a very extreme thing. But she's doing it, she thinks, to save the world.
I mean, even reading the script, I was scared of some of the things that take place in the script and learning to push past your fears and there's discovery then and to take risks and, you know, just to really trust him, I guess. Yeah, and that, that's a sort of wonderful discovery in itself. in auditioning for it, which I did a couple of auditions and met Knight for about an hour and 45 minutes on Zoom. I didn't have the script and didn't have the details of what the film was about. I just had the three scenes that I was trying to connect the dots to make the story. He wouldn't give me any more information, even when even on that Zoom call, because, you know, it's a night film. It's shrouded in secrecy. And then three days later, after that Zoom, he called me and said, I want you to be in this movie. Uh, you have 24 hours in which to press on a link to read the script that will expire within six hours. So you have six hours to read it. And honestly, that page turn, I was so shocked. I had no idea of the size of the role or the journey of any of what it was about. And, and I just found it so shocking. My, my jaw was dropping. I was uh, I was intimidated by it. It's like a, it's a huge ask on all of us as a cast, I think. And I was kind of like reading, really being like, how are we going to pull this off? It's so violent. It's so thought provoking. It's um it's like this runaway bullet train. And that's kind of what it was like to film it as well. It was incredibly intense and relentless. But we had, as well as uh, a very intense experience, we had a very fun experience between us as well. We're a really well bonded cast, and he put together and assembled a really great group of people so we had a good time love Dave Dave arrived uh, two and a half three and a half weeks later than all of us we had two weeks rehearsal Dave was still on Guardians uh, we'd done a week and a half of filming kind of in the cabin pretending Dave was there and then he turns up and I don't know I, I guess for me he was the most Hollywood element of the of the whole thing of the cast and this like action hero and a pro wrestler and I didn't know what to expect but he's such a gentle kind um, I don't know, almost, almost shy. And I think him and I were both kind of like, we were really tasked with like doing a lot in this film. And I think we were both a little intimidated by it, but um, he just led, he led the company so well. He's such a, such a great man. It feels overwhelming to have accomplished this. I mean, I've been waiting for this moment for such a long time. And I'm really glad that this moment has finally come and everyone can enjoy the movie now. I basically play a um, character called Wen. I think I like two words to describe it. I would say she's kind and she's full of curiosity. Um, and basically, what happens is that so they're just um, on vacation in a cabin. They're trying to enjoy themselves when suddenly, out of nowhere, Dave Batista's character comes knocking on the door, and um, a bunch of stuff happens. Everybody was so good, but I think I most bonded with Daddy Andrew because of his deep emotion that like pushed me into when. When I watched it, it was like very creepy. It was nail biting, and it was just it was hard to describe. It's a thrilling film that that um, really brings out the emotion to it. Yeah, this was a wrap gift from. The two dads, I really like it. Um, it says da Tiny Daughter on mine. It says Daddy Andrew and Daddy Eric on the other ones, which I really enjoy. And on the other side, there's a picture of a family. There's some something that happens, a chemistry between a, a, a cast you dream for, that, will, that they each kind of feed off each other and they genuinely like each other. But inspired by each other and I think when you watch the movie you're gonna see seven people that were just feeding off each other in every moment and there's a kind of a special thing that happened that you'll see in the movie. Dave's incredible I mean look, look at him he's like a Vegas act look at this dude. Uh, he, he's just the sweetest guy he's like you know he has all these tattoos and muscles and all this stuff but he's like the sweetest guy like the child like a child which is what the role is like this giant that that is actually a child and um, when he when he came and I was like, dude, get as big as you can. So he gained 30, 40 pounds for us so before he walked through that door. Just an amazing guy, and uh, you know, he has tons of monologues in the movie, and just did a beautiful job. The premise is very emotional and very scary. So it was it's the things I look for in my own ideas. So uh, Paul's book, uh, you know, really kind of stayed with me, and then I, I really wanted to see how to, the, the characters, what happens to the characters at the end of the story. So it's a, that beautiful compulsion that a writer gets about, I, want, I just want to know what happens. So. 
you know, hopefully if they're putting themselves in the family's shoes, that's what, that's what we did when we first started talking about the book and the, and the movie. So uh, hopefully audiences are like, what would they have done if they were in the, sh the shoes of this family and these four people broke in? You know, it's so weird because I was I, probably bigger in this film than I've ever been in any other film. But it was really all about performance uh, for me and for Knight as well. So, yeah, it's a, it, you know, it's a weird, like, it's a head game, this, this whole film, the whole performance. is all like a, you know, one big head game. But it's something I've been searching for for years because I said, you know, for years that I set out to be, you know, an actor, not a movie star. I could care less about the spotlight, about fame, and I was never chasing paychecks. I just wanted to be a better actor. So when I got the script and opened up and read through it, I was like, this is my opportunity. Leonard is a tortured soul. He is a man who is the most gentle, kind person you've ever met, but he is being forced to do really horrible things. <laughs> I think the funniest thing, we probably all agree, is the day we all did Zumba together. <laughs> we did a Zumba class um, together that was taught by Knight's wife, and it was... Uh, Knight actually, he didn't think that I would go, but he said he would go if I went. And of course, I'm like all about doing some Zuma, so I said, of course I'll go. So I was always like two steps behind, so when I'm like supposed to be facing one way, like everybody's facing me, and I know I'm supposed to be fa facing that way, but I'm always too late. So by the time I turn around this way, they're facing this way. And it's like I was always behind, but I was having so much fun that I didn't care.